Cornelius reporting, sir. At ease, Cornelius. Um, you're a good soldier. One of my best. Thank you, sir. The emperor could rule the world if he had an army and officers he could depend upon. <laughs> Men like you. I, uh, I need a good captain right now. One with experience for the Italian regiment. They're an unruly, disobedient, irresponsible band. But I think you could handle them, Captain Cornelius. Uh, Centurion Cornelius. Yes, sir. I'll try to, sir. Make soldiers out of them, Centurion. Good soldiers. Yes, sir. Fall in! Ten up! Count off! Prison and accounted for, sir. Yes. Men, you are members of the Italian cohort, the second volunteer members. You are Roman citizens, Roman soldiers. You are archers, fair archers. You are soon going to be good archers, then excellent, then the best in the Roman army. Any questions? I am your new commanding officer. My duties are first to see that you perform your duties and second to maintain discipline. Your duties, first, become the best and straightest shooter of the arrow. Second, keep your living quarters neat and orderly. Third, obey the rules and regulations established by the military aid to the emperor. Any questions? If any of you have problems, personal or otherwise, and wish my help, just come to me. I'll do what I can. Any questions? Italian cohort, the second, dismissed. <coughs> He seems like a pretty nice fellow. Yeah, all officers seem nice at first. Well, I'm going to test him out, see if he really meant what he said about helping us when he get in difficulties. Hi, Corporal. Uh, uh, we'd like to see the captain. I'm sorry, but he's not to be disturbed right now. What's he doing? Praying? That is just what he's doing. Oh, come on, I was just having fun. Well, I'm not. The captain, he... He's in there, praying? He studies and prays every day. To whom? To God. Which God? Jehovah. Well, he must be a new god of war. I never heard of him before. No, he isn't a Roman god at all. He's the god of the Israelites. Oh. Well, uh, uh, when may I see him? Well, is there anything I can do for you? No, I... Uh, y yes, there is. You can tell me if the captain really means he'll help any of us when we get into trouble. No, he means it. Kindness and helping others is the code of the Israelite God. The captain has taken it for his code. A praying army officer. Kind and helpful. I'll, I'll see you later, Corporal. I wish all officers would pray and be kind. Army would be a nice place to be. And so, O Lord, living God, I am not an Israelite. But, O God, I can worship thee and love thee and obey thee, I and my house. I have new responsibilities now, O God, and I dare not attempt to carry them out without thy help and counsel. Thou art the creator of all things, O Lord, and I... Cornelius! What is it, sir? God has accepted your prayers and knows of your works of charity and has remembered you. He bids you send some men to Joppa to call for a certain man whose full name is Simon Peter. He is a guest at the home of a leather worker called Simon, who lives by the sea. It was an angel from heaven. You sent for me, sir. Yes, Corporal. You're a religious man, too, and I know you will understand. I just had a vision in which an angel of the Lord God of Israel appeared to me right here in my home. He told me to send to Joppa for a man named Simon Peter. Take two of my servants and hasten to Joppa. You'll find Simon Peter, a guest in the home of a leather merchant living by the sea. His name is also Simon. I'm to bring him back with me, sir? If he'll come, yes. But it does seem doubtful, seeing that the Israelites consider it as a curse to enter into the home of a Gentile. 
But the angel said to get him, so we'll at least try. But above all, Corporal, don't force him to come. Force is evil. I understand, sir. God go with you and keep you. <laughs> 